Hello everybody, today on the Catch Carp and Course we are going to be looking at Gisorio Bestie. So this lake we first saw in Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, it's now being released as DLC for the Catch Carp and Course, so let's take a quick look. Now one of the changes, one of the differences is the species of Fish. So let's take a look at what fish we actually have in Gizio Beastie for the catch carp and course. We have barbel, bream, brown trout, chub, common carp, eel, perch, ghost carp, koi carp, leather carp, Mirror Carp, Northern Pike, Roach, Rudd, Tench, Wells Catfish, and I'm just looking at the biggest Wells Catfish there. The boss fish was over 110 pounds, I think it was, and Xander. So it looks like we've got 17 species of fish in this version compared to, I think it was 13, was it 13 species of fish in um, Jezio Beastie for Fishing Sim World Pro Tour? I'm not too sure, I would have to check on that, but it looks like we've got slightly more fish in this version. So, let's go check it out. So I have actually had a few goes of this, as you can see, um, but I haven't caught any boss fish yet. So let's just pick this peg. I'll tell you what, we'll go further down here. I don't want to fish this area here today because I have lost quite a few fish behind them islands. So I'm going to go... The next peg along here which is uh, it's quite a long run so we'll go for a jog we'll do a little bit a little bit of a let's play a let's play has been requested rather than showing um boss fish catches um somebody requested can you do a let's play wobbles on the catch carp and course i nearly said the carp catch and course it is, of course, the catch, carp, and course. That's a bit of a tongue twister to me. Anyway, let's pick this peg here and uh, let's uh, let's chuck these rods out and uh, see what we can get. So let's put this one. I think I've got a roach on here. Let's put this one just down here in the uh, in the weed there. Now this lake on Fishing Sim World Pro Tour was renowned as a good predator lake and apparently it was uh, it was a favourite amongst players and also somebody has requested oh we got a bite straight away off that one off by the weed there. Now somebody also requested me to play, I think it was Lake Boulder for certain species of fish. I haven't forgotten, I've got it written down somewhere, I think you requested Lake Boulder, can I do a let's play on Lake Boulder and Fishing Some World Pro Tour. That I will do, I don't know when but I will do it. Somebody else also requested a shout out on this channel. Now I have forgotten your name, um, I would have to go search for your comments somewhere. I did write it down but I've lost a piece of paper, I wrote it down on. So if that's you or anybody else and you want to shout out in this on the, on the channel, on these fishing videos here, um, let me know in the comments section below and uh, I will put your name up 
either on the screen because some of the names some of the names you've got I will not be able to pronounce or I shall probably pronounce wrong and the ones I can't pronounce I will uh, I will just shout out you know so uh, yeah somebody requested a shout out I can't remember who it was um, I'd have to go trolling through all the comments to find out, so I apologise for that. But if that's you, let me know in the comment section below, and uh, I'll, I'll sort that out. So what have we got here? I think it's, it's possibly a pike. I thought the line had snapped then. <laughs> Did you hear that then? A little sound, usually the sound of when the fish on hooks. I thought I heard that. Yeah, there we go. It's a pike. Looks quite a big one. Not like I say, I've not had any boss fish yet. Not had a great deal of time on this lake, though. It's only come out, I think, just this just this week as I'm doing this video. It's not been out long. The hand animation on the reel still isn't that good. The game's got different size reels and I think they use the same arm in the programming. They need to, uh, I don't know, they just need that. I, I actually have people who, who tell me they don't play the game because of that hand animation puts them off. It doesn't really bother me at all a lot of the time. You can't see it, but uh, they still need. You still, they still need to work on that. After all this time, some reels it looks okay, and others it just looks uh, unfinished. What was that? Did you hear that in the background? Then <laughs> I think something might be coming out of them hills and eating us. What was that? A moose or something. There you go. Can you hear that? The background in the background. There's something in the woods. How long it's actually going to take me to get this in, I don't know. We might only ever catch just this one fish today in this Let's Play. <laughs> That's the trouble on this lake. Once you get a reasonably sized fish, they take quite a long time to actually get them on the bank. Renowned as a predator lake, this lake was in Fishing Simo Pro Tour. Got a pike, it's a pike. Ah, oh, there we go. Look, it, it's ready. Look at that. 30 pound, did you reckon? 41 pound, 8 ounces. Actually, a rare one. 41 pound, 8 ounce. Give it a kiss and chuck it back in. Now, that, don't forget to upload them to Dovetail Live. Did you see how I did that? I just did that as an example. When that comes up on the screen, screen on the uh, on the screen, upload them to Dovetail Live, and uh, every week they pick a they pick a fish from a certain lake. I think it is this week. Um, as this video goes out, they're actually picking from this lake, and uh, you get a mention in the uh, in the cart bible as well. Well, on the Twitter feed, you do. Um, so that's worth that's worth doing. Somebody sending them to me and tagging me. Whoever that is, you don't want to do that. You want you need to upload them, otherwise you won't get picked. <laughs> don't tag me in them. Um, upload them to uh, the dovetail site. So let's just change the hook here on rod number two because we're now fishing over gravel here. So which one should we have? Should we have the ridge monkey or I tell you what, I may go for the uh, Nash blowback rig 
specifically because I've got the Nash T-shirt on, so why not use one of their rigs with the uh, the hot fish boily there? So let's just cast this one out. I've seen a few fish on the surface, or a few bubbles and things around here. Um, so we'll put rod number two out there, and rod number three. I might I'm going to put rod number three just by rod number two somewhere near it. Just try me luck. Oh, I need to change the hook on that one as well. That's uh, that's got a silt rig hook on. So, oh, look at that we got fish. Oh, that that was a bit bizarre, wasn't it? That was that was just that was just bizarre. Let's uh, <laughs> let's change this. Ridge monkey number two gravel. Let's fire that back out. There we go. Always best to have the right hook on over the uh, over what surface you yeah, over what surface you're actually fishing, be it silt, gravel, or weed. Although you you do catch. I mean, I I caught on a gravel hook over over silt. You can still catch, but uh, I think the odds are more better if you've got the uh, correct hook on for fishing over the uh, Pacific. Uh, surface be it gravel silt or weed so let's fire some spod let's do some spodding uh i've got a, i've got a hemp mix i think i have in this i now i did ask we've got a bite number three right let's see what we've got here number one's going off i didn't hear that did they both go off at the same time there i've just seen number one moving the bite alarms are just so low now you guys all requested for them to be turned down and Dovetail Games turned them down but uh, when the other rods go off now the, the uh, it's quite low. So yeah I was doing some spotting there I've got a hemp mix um, and I asked I always thought is that cause cosmetic when you're firing that spotting out does it actually work and I actually asked I think it was Des who was doing a, a live session one of the weekly live sessions I've not seen them do one for a while now and I asked him about the spotting and uh, he says no it does actually work he says um, I think he said something along the lines of imagine the fish the fish are swimming all around the lake imagine the fish are just swimming all around the lake and um, casting the spod rod out um, with your bait in just sends a beacon out and uh, it draws them in similar to real life so uh, yeah it does actually work it is an, an actual advantage to uh, use the spod rod apparently and it has enhanced quite a few bites for me when I've uh, been using it. We've got another pike here. Why can't we catch a catfish? A catfish would be nice. There's that noise again in the background. So let's go and get your wobbles. Oh, we got this one in quite quickly. There we go. That's a 22 pounder. Let's chuck that one back in. I tell you what, let's cast across to the island this time. Let's see if we can actually catch anything a little bit different. Let's see if I can get near that island. Maybe not on it. There we go. It's gone in silt. We're going to have to change the hook. <laughs> it's silt. Well, let's take the gravel hook off. Let's put uh, a number two. A number two silt hook on. I bet we'll cast in weed now. Let's see how it goes. We're on the island. Gravel. Weed. Where's the silt? There must be some silt. There we go. Let's try there. Bring this one in because we had a bite. Let's cast this one back out close into the side somewhere let's try a little bit closer in just down here we've got a bite straight away which one is that is it rod number three that yeah rod number two that's the hot fish boily let's see what we've got on here we possibly may have a carp now which would be something different seeing as we've been catching pike If 
I've had a few sessions on this lake and I'm just having some real bad luck on this lake. I, like I said before, I'm just not catching any boss fish yet. Every time I've had a go, no boss fish. They always look good, don't they? This is the best game for the fish presentation when they hold them. No other game comes close to how well the fish actually look in your avatar, in your angler's hands, do they? The fish just look amazing. So that was a nice, uh, that was a rare, a rare as replaced trophy, hasn't it, in this game? It's a nice rare mid a carp. Right, so what's that? Rod number one is eight. Let's see what we've got here. Another pike. Looks a good lake if you like catching pike. Lots of pike in here. What do you think of the 60 frames per second? It's about time, isn't it, that they managed to get their games up to 60 frames per second on the fishing game. Is it still experimental beta? I'm not too sure. I haven't checked. But that was a nice surprise. It really was. There we go. £13 there. Just a small one. Give him a kiss. Place him back in. And uh, let's try again. I'll tell you what we'll do though. Let's uh, try what we got here. It must have amongst this lot some sort of spinning setup. What's that one? No. Default. Can't use that one. I must have a setup for spinning. The hunt for wobbles. That's wobbles on Rotterdam. I haven't caught him yet. I haven't caught him. I haven't caught wobbles yet. I bet you lot have, haven't you, out there? Hey, I bet you've already caught him. Right. So, let's try this swim bait roach. Uh, let's have a few chucks. Let's go down the side of uh, the lake here where these uh, reeds are. There's the beastie in the woods again. <laughs> sounds really eerie. The ambient sounds in the background there through my headset. Retrieve this back. Constant retrieve. Are we going to have any luck though? Doesn't look like we are. Let's uh, 
Let's chuck it out across to that island. Can we get right across there? Yes, we can. Right, I'm just going to let that sink. Sometimes you catch them on the drop, don't you? I'm just going to let that sink to the bottom. There we go, that's better. Perfect strike. Let's see what we've got here. We might catch something different. We might get a trout. They've got eel in here as well, haven't they? So we may we may get an eel. Of course, it could be a pike. It could be another pike. Probably is. Be nice if we could get a trout out today. Oh, it's an eel. We've got an eel. Is it a boss fish, though? Now, that would be nice, getting a boss fish out on this Let's Play. This is unedited, raw footage, unscripted. <laughs> Let's play the carp catch and course on Jesse Obeastie. Is it a boss fish? Looks nice again, how you hold the fish. Looks really good. No, it's just a common eel. Give him a kiss, chuck him back in. Let's have a little walk along here. I'm not going to walk all the way around this lake. Ah. Uh, if you've never fished on this lake, if you've never, you know, if you've not, if you didn't, if you don't own Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, and you've never fished on this lake, you know, I can recommend this lake because it generally has some good predator fish in. This lake does. There's one or two people who've already got this lake on Fishing Sim World Pro Tour, and they say they're not going to buy it. Um, on the carp catch and course and then they've changed their minds and brought it <laughs> they've been very vocal i'm not going to buy that i'm not going to buy it and then they brought it so oh there we go we're in perfect strike there's one or two comments i was reading a lot of people not a lot of people just a few people weren't unhappy we're, we're unhappy about this uh, dlc what do you chaps think? I'm probably going to get a lot of them comments in the comment section below. Similar to the ones I've seen on the uh, on the Steam forum. I would expect with recent events, with the COVID-19 and social distancing, that possibly um, the way people have had to work may have influenced possibly um, the release of this um, DLC. I'm just guessing. I'm, I'm, I'm just guessing. I'm just chucking that out there. I know a lot of offices I know of were actually. Um, shut down and people were actually uh, working from home. I'm just wondering if that actually influenced this uh, particular DLC launch. Looks like a trout. I think we've got a trout. Yay! That would be nice. Yep, it's a big end. Is it a boss fish? Look at that, it looks absolutely massive there. Take a picture of that one. Oh, it's just a common. <laughs> Brown trout, 21 pound. Oh dear. 
I can't catch any boss fish. I'm having such rotten luck. I'll tell you what, let's have one more chuck. Um, otherwise, with the upload to YouTube, this is going to take absolutely ages if I run over 20 or 30 minutes. So I'll keep my Let's Plays down to 20 or 30 minutes. Let's, uh, let's have one last chuck down the side of here. Let's try our luck. See if we'll catch anything. There's the monster in the woods again. Can you hear that? So oh, there we go. Not a perfect strike, a good strike. What have we got? It's another trout. There we go, nice brown trout, looks fantastic there, it looks quite big there again, it's only £16, it's common, it's not a boss fish. Right, I'll tell you what, let, let, let's have one more chuck, let's, <laughs> let's change to um, a spin bait. Now, spinners and buzz baits, here we go, let's try one of these, let's try the red one, the red looking one, because I think we've got... I think we're slightly overcast, possibly. Light clouds, I think it is. And let's go down here. And, uh... I can't get past that rock. I'll have to just go... No, no I've got to walk all the way round. Right. <laughs> let's go down here and, uh... Try our luck. And this will be the last chuck. The last throw. Should we go on this uh, ramp here, on this jetty? How do we get down there, round here? Tiring work, all this running. Right, let's cast over to that island. Let's see if we can cast over to there. And let's see. So let's try our luck. Real speed. Three. Two. Constant retrieve. Doesn't seem to be sinking. Oh, there we go. Perfect strike. We're in. That was pretty quick. Heartbeat's going.
hook strained, just have to be careful of that. Might be a good fish this one. Oh, it's going to the left. Hopefully it won't go behind that island. If it, if it goes behind that high island, I'm possibly going to get in trouble and it'll hunook. No, let's see if we can just bully it out from around there. Just see if, can we pull it out? Don't go down. Don't go behind that island. No, 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 no. This way, this way. It's going behind the island. Let's see if we can pull it. Yeah, it's coming this way. I have lost a few fish around them islands where they've become unhooked. It's hugging that far bank. Oh, look at the look at look, look at the uh, quality of the hook there. Oh, it's slipping. We're down into the orange. It's going to be out that island. They might have a boss fish here. Have we got a boss fish? Oh, we're going to lose it. Just going to have to be a little bit careful regarding the tension and the hook quality with this. So lucky it didn't go behind that island. I thought, you know, I thought for a moment it was going actually to go behind that island, but it hasn't. However, we could have a turn for the worst and it might go back around that island. Hopefully it won't. It's in open water now, that's a good sign. Is it a boss fish? That would be absolutely fantastic to end this video on a boss fish, wouldn't it? What have we got? It's looking like a pike. Is it a pike? It looks... Yes. Another pike. Looks quite a big one, actually. Looks like a nice fish to end the video on anyway. Now, so if you want to see more Let's Plays, smack that like button. Let me know in the comment section below and uh, we'll do some more Let's Plays instead of just showing, you know, the boss catches and things. I'll show you the reality of the game because you don't always catch the boss fish. They're not that easy to catch. Some lakes... A lot easier than others to catch the boss fish on, I find. Here we go. Let's see. Is it a boss fish? Looks a nice pike. No, it's not a boss fish. It's a rare fish, though. 39 pounds, but that's a nice fish to end the video on. So... Let me just go into that setup where I actually could press the right button there a minute, not that one. There you go. That's what I caught that on. That's the setup. Rod number one. Just in case you missed it previously. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to see more Let's Plays, let me know in the comments section below and we'll do a few more Let's Plays on the venues in the carp catching course.